in search of looters. They've been digging since around 11. I think they went to the bay over near where I live. It might have been a little bit breezy. They didn't, know, they didn't find much. I don't know. And they moved over there to where I was shopping at night. Damn, look at this. this tunnel traffic backed up. I don't know what's wrong with that. Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Anyway, they told me, they texted me when they were moving. They were over there right where I was shopping and knives at. You know, on that beach. East Beach. So I'm headed that way at a rapid pace. Stand by. We'll see if we can find them. I found them. They're right over this dune here somewhere. I parked right behind uh, Carter's truck. Dune grass, dune oats, whatever they call them. Stand by, we gotta make our way through here. Well, I don't see them at this hole. Oh yeah, I do too. They're goddamn, they're all in the same hole. <laughs> Look at them damn looters. Must be something going on there. Five looters in one hole. God. Stand by. Jim's giving me some sign, some sign language. I think he's trying to tell me somebody's got one. Hold on a minute. I think Jim said Carter got one. Let's see how these guys are doing here. I got my lucky gold diggers pouch on today. Maybe that'll help me find some some goddamn thing. How are you guys making out here in the hole? There's some deep stuff under the sand. <laughs> Can't go about 10 inches before I hit the rocks. Now, if we went down to about where that fifth house is, uh -huh. where that set of steps is, that's some yeah. great nice rocks right there. Okay. And there's another set of rocks beyond them, about this size, about knee deep. Be plenty of rocks up there. I know somebody hated that. God damn. That's a jumbo rig. What kind is it? Now, Carter got a pretty nice one. Tungsten looks like. Fake tortoise shell or a finger. Well, you got that, Mr. Dorod. Looks like garbage. It looks like a good grade of copper in there. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that's a mood ring. Looks like with some age on it. A mood ring. <laughs> Bad mood. That's what we caught him getting them zines on them. <laughs> Let me see the keys a minute. Carter found somebody's keys. They're not new by any means. They're like last year's keys, I think. Yeah. I have a word for those I find keys. Jim's got some taquitos, some earring. Look at that. Some classy lady lost yeah, that. bling, man. You got some yeah. major bling. You got some keys, too, huh? Feeler gauge. Feeler gauge. Feel I mean, damn. Feeler gauge. Yeah. 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 That's an That's an antique. Brass there. keys. Yeah. Here come them other two looters. Let's see what they got. How about a stinging nettles? Any stinging nettles? I haven't run into any. Any to keep those? Want to go someplace else? Huh? We're gonna stay here. Or go someplace else? I think else. we want to go down to those rocks down there. That's where I'm heading down that way. It's, it's, you'll run into about them steps up there. What you got that? What you got in there? Treasure. Oh, rock, rocks in there. Huh? Oh yeah. Well, then, nothing much. You can see it's a little breezy on the bay today. I knew it would be, especially out here in the open. He may not be able to work down in those rocks. We got us a nice cheerleader here today. Oh, we got two cheerleaders. Excuse me all to hell. Cheerleaders, that's what we got. Come on down here. Everybody's in this one little lagoon. We move to the uh, western away. 
work on the edge of these little small rocks. Stand by. Cheerleaders, we need some damn cheering down here. Good a booga. I like white. A little tattoo here and there. That's right. Makes the world go round. Wait a minute, hold it. I thought we had a hit. That's what I get for thinking, I guess. Oh my God, another cheerleader has come out of the crowd. Stand by for cheerleaders later. Here comes some heat, here comes the beach heat. Don't give them hell if you got any beer over. Here comes the heat, the heat. Heat, the heat. Well, we got a 12:05 here. First, first nice out we had today, except for that sinker. We got a full tab and a quarter and a dime. See anything exciting in here? Some rock. I don't see no 05 though. Look at the hell through. A lot of 22s around this. Let's see it. Damn that. Let's dump it down on the sand here and see if we can find it again. No, oh, not in that pile. Must have fell out. And shaken. Could be a little ball sinker, you know. Stand by now. It's still in the hole. You see it right there, a little brass swivel, fishing swivel. That's where the old five came from. Zoomed in, ain't you? Oh, five. In most cases, this reads as a dime, a 43, 44. But sometimes it could be a quarter. See what it is. We got it on the first scoop up. It's a damn penny. Well, 45. You never know. Those two guys right there think they're in a hurricane fishing. Two kayakers. One's right outside the rocks. I don't think you can see him. He might be able to. The other one's right there. It's rough as bricks out there with L. <laughs> Stand by. Get him right there, buddy. You'll be upside down in a minute.
Pretty good job. While I'm waiting for the guys to come off the beach, we talk about pouches. For over 20 years, I used a nail pouch like this. You buy at the hardware store. Five or six years ago, I got three of these from Anderson. Two white ones and a blue one. And the white ones are wore out. I always saved the blue one for last. And it's uh, on its third summer. You can see it's in pretty good shape. In addition to this, I put all my finds in here. Everything I ever found, I put in here. Except for my rings. You know, I put them around this doodad thing here with the bobby pins on it. But I ain't had to worry about that lately. I always use the extra pouch. This is a mesh pouch. I bought six of these from Raleigh's. I don't know when, 2004 or 5, I don't know. I'll give two of them away, I only have four left. In there I keep a key and a piece of bungee and this and that and, and a knife. I always carry a knife in that pouch. I got it on this belt right now with my scoop dragger. Now Ryan gave me this fine pouch yesterday. Nice mesh. Is that fine spoon I found today? Up here it's got a little bag. And I guess you put your super duper things, you can zip it up. Both of them have a zipper on it. It's got a zipper there and a zipper here. It's got its own belt made to it, which is nice. I like that. I used it today, it worked pretty good. I may have to uh, do away with my pouch. My nail pouch, I mean. You know, my hand. Use this. Everybody on the beach uses something similar to this. It's hard when he was around to use a nail pouch. And there's another guy that comes in there once in a while uses a nail pouch, but I'm about the only one that still uses the nail pouch until today. We'll have to see how that goes. But this, is a, this is a nice pouch. Well made. I don't have no idea what he sells it for, but I'll, I'll ask him and find out. If anybody's interested, you know what it costs. This is a pretty nice pouch. Okay, stand by. Two hour roundup. Two singers. That's it. The guys from New Jersey, as you'll see, found two rings a tungsten and a mood. The rest of us found bling and very little. See you somewhere later. It's really rough here today. 15 to 20 out of the northeast. Going to the land of Nile.